So you want your inside sales program to be predictable and repeatable and get the same outcomes, right? Just get outcomes that you can count on. And so my favorite example of predictable and repeatable and just process is McDonald's. And if you haven't had the opportunity to see the movie The Founder, uh, it's with Michael Keaton, it's an amazing movie about the McDonald's brothers. And they still use a lot of the process that the McDonald brothers put together to be successful today. And that is, they find what works and they do it over and over and over again. And so that's what you need to do right, with a hamburger. Just take a hamburger, for instance. Everybody listening, in the 161 people that are, that are online with us today, through all the various mediums, all of you can make a hamburger better than McDonald's. So what's the genius of McDonald's? The genius of McDonald's is that you get the same hamburger, exactly the same, whether you're in Idaho, Japan, Ireland, Barcelona, New Orleans with my friend Ricky. It's all the same, right? We know what the hamburger looks like, smells like the wrapper. It's so consistent. So I want to bake my sales process the same way. All right, so I want the seven steps of the sale, the appointment, the profile, the interview, the evaluation, the presentation, the close. I don't want my people saying different stuff, which is what a lot of people do with inside sales. That's why I'm getting 80% of the productivity out of 20% of the reps, letting them do what they want to do. I want them to be the best. So I want them saying the most effective things Everywhere along the sales process, on the appointment, the profile, the interview, the evaluation, the presentation, the close, and the pin down. Right? Because that is how you build an inside sales machine. So, how you do that is you build the model, and I'm going to give you a real example that you can use today to leave with. So, you're going to love this. Okay? You're going to build a model. And typically, you have somebody who's either getting the production that you want, or you develop the production that you want, and you, you see what that model is to get that specific income. And then you have one or two people on your team doing that model, creating it, testing it, making sure the outcomes are there, making sure you're getting the financial results that you need. Once you have the model, then you transfer the model to your, the rest of your team. Because you know what works. Now, what's part of the model? The model is when you call, what specific hours are best to call for your decision maker, right? When you get them on the phone, specifically, what do you say? How many conversations per hour? How many dials per hour? How long do you wait on hold on a transfer before you hang up and call somebody else? What type of voicemail do you leave in order to get a condition response back that you measure and get results? What's your conversions per hour, your conversions per conversation, your closing ratio? All that becomes your model, right? So before you move on, a lot of people build inside sales organizations. They hire a bunch of people without the model first. It's ridiculous. So you create the model, and then you scale the model. You install it. 